I'm Mike Benton for Thunder Vision. Tonight we got Game 3 of the National Conference Finals. The Stockton Thunder aim to dig themselves out of a two games and nothing hole as they take on the Idaho Steelheads as the series shifts to Stockton. A man who certainly knows how to play in these type of games is forward Matt Markward. After all, last year he was in the Conference Finals in the American Hockey League with the Providence Bruins. So, Matt, the question begs, how does that experience make you hungrier? Yeah, I mean, it, it does make me hungrier. And, uh, you know, last year in my rookie season, getting a taste of what the, what the playoffs are all about and uh, having it be in the American League was something that I learned a lot from and from the older guys in the room and from uh, the coaches and just from the way the game's played at that point of the season. And, uh, you know, last year coming out short, um, you know, makes me that much hungrier, like you said. And and uh, last last year we had won the first game in their rink and uh you know we still ended up uh losing that series so you're never uh, that's why it's a it's the first of four wins so um you know two wins is a is a bit of a hole but it's it's far from over and uh you know we're just uh looking to battle our way back and keep playing the system and work hard and hopefully bounces come our way People often say that being down 2 nothing in a series is a big test of adversity. So in the past few days, based on your observations, how is this team handling it? Well, I mean, every time uh, we have a chat, I always mention how the character of our team and the adversity that we've faced all year, you know, whether it's uh, down going into a third period or, uh, you know, things like that. We, we, we find a way to uh, regroup and stay calm and stay poised and uh, you know, stick to the system, and, and most of the time when we when we do that, we've we've been successful. And uh, you know, it's just another it's another test, like you said, and that's the way seasons go. And and in the playoffs, um, anything can happen. And um, you know, we're we're a very good, very very sound hockey team, and uh, we're a very tight knit group of guys, and we love to battle for one another. So um, better time than than now, as far as. Uh, coming together as a, as a team and as a collective unit and, uh, you know, just work as hard as we can. Game three marks the first conference finals home game in Thunder history. The Thunder are 4-1 and one at home this year in the playoffs. How have crowds worked for you this year, and how can it work to your advantage here for tonight? Well, I mean, uh, ever since my first game here, uh, you know, I could tell that this was a, this is a great hockey town, great hockey community, and, and every time we step on that ice, uh, you know, there's there's chills going down our down our spines because, uh, you know, all the noise that, uh, that the Stockton faithful make, and it, and it helps. I mean, the the seventh player is uh, is huge in in playoffs, and uh, you know, the, our faithful fans have been our seventh player the whole all season, let alone uh, the home games we've had, and we've been successful at home just because of that little extra push we get and that uh, little boost of confidence, knowing that our fans are behind us 100%. Richard Bachman obviously has been a big storyline here for this entire team and the solution trying to get through to him. What do you take away from game one in trying to solve that riddle? Well, he's he's a good good goalie as as we've seen, and uh, you know he's uh, frustrating to play against. That's for sure, just because he's a very technically sound goaltender and he's uh, he's calm and he's uh, you know he's been solid. But uh, you know we talked about. Uh, you know things like bounces, and uh, I don't think uh, we've had too many bounces go our way so far this series. But you know we're we're still working hard, and that's the only way to work your way out of a hole is just to keep keep at her. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. You know we're just gonna keep trying to shoot as many pucks as we can on this guy, and hopefully uh, once we solve him a couple times, uh, you know hopefully we get uh, get a little more uh, chances to you know to to score on this guy. He's he's a phenomenal goaltender, but. Uh, you know, like we've seen in past series, Levasseur was, was a great goalie for Bakersfield, and, you know, we just kept working and found a way, and uh, that's what we're going to try and do is just uh, just try and find a way. Matt, thanks. Good luck. Thank you.